everybody. How's it going out there? We're on day. Wait a minute. Go live. What's going on with that connection? Connection, you better act right. You better act right, connection. Thank you. That's what I thought. Hey, everybody. You reached the Felicia live show. Let's be real. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Um, <laughs> um, I'm doing day three, even though it's day four, because, you know, my wedding anniversary was yesterday. So um, I had some uh, clash of timelines. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, before we get into it, I'm going to uh, get myself together and we're going to check out the next prayer session. Remember in the month of June, I will be streaming and we'll be streaming for prayers. We're going to be, do we're going to be doing powerful prayers. Now in the afternoon, you'll probably see me do it one more time. Hopefully my bestie will be around so that I can get a hold of her and we can do it together. So I'm just trying to get all my stuff out here. Get everything, you know, cup aesthetic. If you have prayer requests, please put DM me or put them in the uh, send me a DM, that type of thing, and um, we'll go from there. This next one, oh, seven prayers. This next one, we have seven prayers. Let's see if I can do it in 15 minutes. Okay. But uh, th this first week, we're gonna, we're gonna pray for marriages. Next week, we're gonna pray for unemployment, financial situations. Third week, we're gonna pray for healing. And the fourth week, we're gonna pray for negative, removing negativity, any kind of negativity, anything that is not of God. That's what we're gonna do for the fourth week, okay? Um, so, thank you for coming into the Felicia stream. We're gonna, we're gonna come at you. Uh, right now, I'm actually outside the buildings of Create TV in the parking lot. We have a lunch break right now. And I've been volunteering. I'm doing the teleprompter today. And um, I've mic'd up a couple of people. Today, they were doing PSA, public service announcements for a lot of nonprofits. So that's what we're going to do. Okay? So that's my... Um, Uh-oh. How long is this prayer? And then, and then it comes over here. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. So here we go. Powerful prayers right here. I'm just getting powerful prayers off the internet. So if you have a marriage and you want to be prayed over, we're going to do this right now. All of us in agreement. If you're single and you want to get married, hey, hon. I'm at lunch break right now in the car by myself just doing my prayers for marriage for this week so we're gonna go into it uh, powerful prayers for marriage and we're gonna start because I didn't get a chance to do this yesterday so I'm trying to catch up okay Lord my God my father and my creator prayers for marriages so let's go to the next one Oh, that was part of the prayer. I thought it was the title. Okay. Lord, my God, my Father, and my Creator, I come to you today for all marriages, especially for those who are going through difficulties, so that you are the one who always lives in, so that you are the one who always lives in your hearts, so that we learn that as a couple and under your blessing, we can find the solution to our problems. Help us to always keep in mind that we love that person we choose someday. That despite the difficulties you, you give us strength to fight, do not let mistrust and arguments take over our home. Help us to know how to communicate and give encouragement in times of difficulty. Help us to respect each other and to tolerate each one of our defects. Spread your love to us. Lord, merciful Father, God, and only Savior, bless our marriage. Take away everything that separates you from you. Remove the enemy. May we not be tempted to fall into sin. And if we fall, help us up. Oh, our Father, show us the way we must go. Enlighten us and we become good people. Let us abandon the old man full of evil. 
and let us be the new men full of kindness. We beg you, amen. That was a powerful prayer number one. But I think we got seven more to go. Okay. So let's go to the next one. All right. This one says, after making these prayers, believe that God has answered and consolidate your victory by thanking God for the changes you hope to see and the restoration of your marriage. Below are the seven prayers that will help you bring back your focus on God, who alone is able to permanently heal and restore your marriage. So, this one looks like it's cut off a little bit. Bear with me, okay? All right, I just kind of... So, prayers for God's blessing on my spouse and I. Heavenly and merciful Father, I thank you for who you are and for the promises that you have made concerning me and my spouse. You have promised to bless me exceedingly, and it is your heart's desire to enlarge my coast. Every satanic covenant that is going against your continual and uninterrupted blessing in this marriage, I command the rain of fire to consume them in the name of Jesus. I pray against every spirit of lack and wretchedness. Oh Lord, let your peace, joy, happiness, and comfort saturate this marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. And it says, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 33 to 35. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. Okay? So, thank you for joining with me. We got a couple more prayers to go. Um, again, this is for uh, prayers for marriages this week. I also want to find prayers for uh, families, you know. And uh, I will get that. But the next prayer we have is prayer to remove all negativity from the relationship caused by external people. There's always people trying to put their two cents in. Now we understand that when you put your two cents in, there are some people who have positive kind of constructive criticism. Okay. Then there are people who have negative feedback that is probably the one that you don't want to take you want to play, take the positive constructive criticism instead of the negative destructive criticism you understand what i'm saying gotta have some wisdom and like you know some people may have motives for telling you stuff so you got to be on guard okay prayer to remove all negativity from the relationship caused by external people lord i come to you with this petition because i know that you have made me one flesh with my spouse and you have said that no man or a woman should come between us that's from Matthew 19 verse 6 so I take authority over every outside influence that is polluting our marriage come on now every foreign power that's manipulating this marriage is dealt a heavy blow in Jesus name okay I pray that their seed of discord, hatred, malice, and separation that has been sown is uprooted by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. And we have a scripture here. It says Matthew 6, 24. No one can serve two masters. Maybe we should say no one can have multiple wives or multiple husbands. For either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other you cannot serve God and money Malachi 2 verse 16 for the man who does not love his wife but divorces her says the Lord the God of Israel covers his garment with violence says the Lord of hosts I wonder what that meant covers his garment with violence who doesn't love his wife so guard yourselves in your spirit and do not be faithless. Prayer number three. No weapon formed against our marriage shall prosper. Come on now. Some of you are in the midst of throes of things right now. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself by praying over yourself. 
and your marriage. Heavenly Father, I give you all the praise and adoration because your word is ever true. I give you thanks because no weapon that is formed against this marriage will stand. Isaiah chapter 4, 54, verse 17. Okay. I declare that every arrow shot to destabilize this marriage is broken into pieces in Jesus' name. With the spiritual authority given to me through Christ Jesus, the risen Savior, Savior of the whole world, Jesus of Nazareth, who healeth, I command the fire God to consume every wedge that is meant to be put between me and my spouse through bad and ungodly advice and false teachings in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand of demonic manipulation is crushed, crushed in Jesus' name. I retrieve my marriage from the jaws of the evil one in Jesus' name. Thank you, Abba Father, because it is done in Jesus' name. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. Just as in Christ, God forgave you. I know we don't want to hear that. This again, hi, Snowblakey Jenny. Again, I am doing, uh, I am doing for the month of June, we're going to be doing prayers. We're going to be doing prayers. And this week, we're going to do prayers for marriages. About 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes. I'm trying to do 15 minutes. You know how I can talk. So, so let's continue. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 through 10. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Okay? Let me read Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32 again. This is, again, in today's society, you know, you think everyone's doing okay in their marriages, then all of a sudden, poof the next day you hear that someone got the marriage got a divorce and you're like what happened and so it's really critical to keep what God has said in his word and it's hard because you start screaming and howling at one another right but we have to be humble enough to let the Holy Spirit guide that situation instead of our flesh Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 be kind and compassionate to one another the other person is not there to hurt you. The person that is there to be your helpmate. They're not there to to put the knife in and, and then turn it in and put it through. They're not there for that. That's not what it is. It's not a competition. Forgiving each other. Just. What, what, did, it, what, did, it, what did it say? Forgiving each other. I know that's hard. Because you think the other person did it on purpose. Just as in Christ, God forgave you. Is there times that you purposely sin against God? I'm just saying. I'm just, I just brought that out. I don't, I don't know. Prayer number four. Holy Spirit, work in both of us to bring us closer to God and each other. Oh Lord, I believe you are working in my life and that of my spouse to reconcile us back to you and to each other. Lord, stir my spouse's thoughts with the same good and loving thoughts that existed when our love for each other was still very strong. Bring us back to where we're supposed to be. Let my heart and that of my spouse burn in love for you and for each other. Lord, rekindle our love for one another wherever my spouse needs and needs understanding to be drawn to you. Father, give him or her that understanding. Lord, heal each one of our emotional wounds and cause our hearts to be drawn towards each other in Jesus' name, amen. That's powerful there because we've caused emotional wounds to one another. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses seven through eight. Love always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Okay, that was, that was a pretty good one. That was, that was pretty good. Okay, that was a good one. Prayer number five, prayer to rebuild trust and honesty in my marriage. Whoa, oh. Now we have uh, uh, Jenny 
Snowblake55. She says, RevolverHearts.com has a 31-day challenge to pray for your husband. Commit to 31 days to speak life over your husband. Do not speak negatively to your husband or behind his back to anyone. Amen. In the month of June with me and my bestie, I told her, I said, we are not when we're talking on the phone. I don't want to hear not one complaint about nobody. The month of June is going to be free <laughs> for me to be commenting <laughs> about anybody. Because I'm trying to keep June a positive month because we need breakthrough. I need breakthrough for transitions and career path. I need breakthrough for my son to get his job in arts and illustration and animation and God give him favor. I need breakthrough for a bucket list in life to help people. I have an idea about, uh, it's called the healing basket. And I want to put stuff in there that God has given to us naturally to heal us. Because if you do the research, you're going to see research articles on PubMed.com. That's for you, all you people who are going through sicknesses. There are uh, natural plants that God has given us that these researchers are looking at that show that some people can have remission of cancer and other ailments because they take God's natural plants. Okay. Prayer to rebuild trust and honesty in my marriage. Lord, it is your will that we be reconciled together and that our love for each other will grow and blossom no matter what has happened between us in the past. It's hard. It's hard. Okay. Lord, heal our marriage of all spiritual attacks and manipulations. When you think about it, it's spiritual attacks and it's manipulations. Let this healing start with me. Lord, have mercy on our relationship and rebuild the trust and honesty that has eluded this marriage. Remove and break all ungodly soul ties. You may not know you have a soul tie. You may not know, uh, you may wonder why things are happening. It's, in, it's a spiritual, okay? Lord, I command sevenfold. Lord, I command sevenfold restoration of the trust and honesty that the evil one has stolen from us in Jesus' name. We need to break it, people. Is it getting too hot in here? It's getting too hot. Okay. Hebrews 13, 4. Let marriage be held in honor among all. Okay. Honor, not dishonor. Honor. How can your marriage be honorable? And let the marriage bed be undefiled. For God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. And adulterous. Couldn't pronounce that right. For God, let's repeat that. For God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Okay. All right. Y'all. Okay. Y'all think y'all can do anything you want. Okay. All right. Uh, Matthew 5, 28. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent or a man with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her or his in his heart or her heart. Okay. Hi, Patty. Thank you for coming in the Felicia live broadcast. Let's be real. And uh, I'm praying for the month of June. I'm getting on the broadcast every day. Yesterday, you know, I had to take a break. I had, you know, got a little bit busy. I need to be grabbing, just groveling in our bitterness and anger and negativity. And we got to stop it. We got to stop it. Lord, deliver me and my spouse from the evil spirit of unforgiveness, hatred, anger, bitterness, and abuse that is poisoning our minds and relationship. Fill up every space in our hearts with peace, love, joy, so there's no room for negative emotions. Lord, teach us to treat one another with dignity, love, and respect. Lord, I ask for the grace and emotional strength. We need the grace because we can't do it ourselves. And emotional strength to avoid the use of anger. When you've been uh, angry with someone over and over, they get tired of that, people. Lord, I ask for the grace and emotional strength to avoid the use of anger. And I pray that we will no longer allow our emotions to be manipulated and used to drive a wedge between us in Jesus' name, amen. Sometimes you just gotta be quiet, you know? You just gotta let the other person, let, let, let's say that you're gonna be honorable and they start screaming and hollering. 
Well, you know what? At this point, I, I can't discuss when you're screaming and hollering. So when you're ready to um, not be manipulated, then we, we can discuss without bitterness and anger. Hallelujah. Amen. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14 through 15. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. I know it's hard. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, Holy Spirit, help me with the heart. Neither will your Father forgive your trespass. That's the first thing. That's the first thing that pops in your mind. Holy Spirit, um, I'm having a problem right now. And, 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 and please help me to do what I'm supposed to do. Romans 12, verse 19. Do not take revenge, my friends. It's so hard. I know, you want to take revenge. The times I've tried to take revenge, it backfired so badly. It, it did. And, and, I, and, I, and to this day, I'm suffering the repercussions of trying to take revenge. I'm just let y'all know that. And I know some of y'all know that too. Do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. I know. Right now, I'm going to tell y'all this right now. There was a situation that happened for me, personally. I can't tell you the background, but I'm just going to tell you a situation. Where there was a person who purposely tried to do evil toward me. That person is no longer around. Now, there's a second person that tried to do Pretty soon, that person will no longer be around me. Thank you, Father God, because you know I want to. Okay, it's getting really hot in here, and it's, I may have to move it over here. Okay. Last prayer. Prayer number seven. Give us the strength to work through our differences. We need strength. That's what we need. We need strength. We need strength. Lord, thank you for the good work that you have started in my marriage. I know that you will do mightily to the end. I ask for the strength to stay courageous and strong in. Okay. Strong in. Okay, what happened to that piece of paper? Replace every negative feeling with love and help us to work through our differences. Every man or woman determined to scatter thus marriage will not succeed. That's right. It's going to be blocked. Their evil plans will scatter in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I refuse to be tempted to try other alternatives. I will not be discouraged even if it seems that nothing is happening at the moment. Gird us up, God. Your word is greater and sure than any other power. So I choose to trust you. Amen. And if you, and again, I'm just Googling powerful prayers on the internet. That's what I call them, powerful prayers. And um, I just, this whole week, we're going to be doing powerful prayers for marriages. And um, thank you for joining into the broadcast. You'll probably see me on later uh, tonight when I get back. And I will... Um, be doing for June 4th for tonight with my bestie so I hope you were uh, enjoyed having the prayer uh, if you need any prayer requests please type them in DM me right now for that um, and before we go off I think I have a song in my heart that I like to sing right now sometimes you gotta sing sing your way out you know what I'm saying that's what you gotta do sometimes you have to sing your way out of what you're going through we sing praises to the king for he is the king of kings we sing praises to the king for he's the king of kings give him glory come on for he is the king give him glory for he is the king all right now thank you guys i just had to get that out of my spirit we got to sing praises to our king because he's going to deliver our marriages and he will answer your prayer. He truly will. I know as you go through it, it's kind of hard. But uh, you just rest assured. You just, I just go like this. Hey, Jesus, uh, Holy Spirit, and my loving God, you got to come in the midst of it. Because I can't, if I, if I get in the midst of it, I, done, I will mess it up. So anyway, guys, thank you for coming in the broadcast. Toodles, bye-byes, and I will see you.